Now, the unholy row between a pastor and parishioner. At issue, the life savings of a true believer. Father, have you sinned? The pastor. And I trusted him 100%. The parishioner. This is very bad what you're doing. And the unholy row. Because he's a pastor and a god man, you know. At the Pentecostal Full Life Church in Parramatta, Pastor James leads the Mass most Sundays. I'm in the house of God, I'm preaching the Word of God, I'm listening to the Word of God, I'm worshipping God. And on the side, he runs a busy Indian wholesale food business. Hallelujah! But once regular parishioner Sibby John is no more. I was heartbroken and I was crying every day. There should always be a separation of church and state, and perhaps that should apply to church and business as well. I have not cheated him, that's honest. This is the business, in business... Sibi says it started out with some coins in the church plate, then... And after a while he asked me for some money for a help. You gave him money because you trusted him. I gave him money from my home loan, ING Bank, from my home loan redraw. The man of the cloth would often request by text. Hi Sibby, are you at work? Pastor needs some money for two to three weeks. Any chance? Thanks, Pastor. Sibby replies, Hi, how much? I am at work. Other times the pastor asks for more. Good morning Sibby, trust you had a good night at work. Thanks for the $5,000. It will be great if you can transfer $10,000. Thanks, Sibby. Pastor. He used to call me every day. I a miracle. Miracle happens every day in your life. A financial miracle was certainly happening. Eventually, I gave around uh, uh, 200 plus, 200K plus. You're a pastor no, no. Yeah, and you're well, ringing no. him up and you're asking him for money. Hi, Sibby. Are you at work? Pastor okay. needs some money. Yeah. Sibby, thanks for the 5000 It'd be great if you transfer 10000 Okay. No, church and business don't mix. You see, the pastor says Sibby was investing in the Indian food business and the money wasn't a personal loan between them. Will he be getting his money back any time soon? Well, he... I didn't borrow any money from him. You didn't? Yeah, he was actually came into a business as a partner. As a partner? Yeah, then he ditched oh, well, it. This is your paperwork from your business. It says loan from Sibby John. Loan. This yeah. went on for years. That's fine. I don't want to talk now because he been to the lawyers. Sibby says he went to lawyers claiming he didn't know he was investing in the Indian food business. When I gave the money, he didn't explain me, disclose, disclose me any condition. That's what I am very upset. Sibi, I need some money help. That was he told me. I have not personally borrowed any money, okay? He was a part of he wasn't. a business. And I've got a document from you saying that you will pay back that money with interest at 5%. Do you remember that document? Which one? This one on Bethel Company letterhead that says loan received from Sibi John and how much and when. And then there's this email from Pastor James that states it was an investment slash loaned by Sibby, misspelt, and would be paid up in full with interest. How much money do you owe him? I owe him nothing. You owe him nothing? Pastor says the company now owes Sibby his money and he's just trying to help Sibby get his money no, back. No, I work here. That's a problem. You misunderstood. I work for somebody. After inviting me inside, Come to the office, let's go. Pastor James wanted to explain the way he sees things. Bethel Company is not you anymore. You're not part of it. I am part of you... it still. Yes. I'm running it so that he can get mm. his money from the company. I have Oh, so he money. does get some money from the of company. Course, I told him that. Problem is... This company is running for 15 years. And Sibi has been waiting for seven years to be paid. And I told him, when the company makes money, he gets his money. We have discovered Sibby did have some early business dealings with Pastor James's company, but Sibby says that was only buying wholesale food from him. 
As for the money Sibi claims he's owed... He owe me now 155k total now. In the early years, Pastor James did indeed give back some money, but nothing in recent times, which Sibi says is a far cry from what he was told seven long years ago. They said, if you need money, buy, give, give us two, three months advance notice so they can give the money by. He's got no contract. Where's his contract? Could you show me his contract? When the company makes money, he gets his money, because I also need to get money. Have you got a contract with that? Well, we can give you, he's... when it's ready, we'll give you. You come back, you give me your number, I'll call you, okay? You have a faith in God. I had faith he would get back to me with those documents, but I'm still waiting. If he give my money, I forgive him. On the walls of Sibby's home is his beloved family. How has this affected you and your family? I was heartbroken and I was crying every day. My family broken into pieces, shattered. My yeah, relationship broke down. Regardless of how all this happened, Sibi says he is out of pocket and struggling. Yeah, I, feel, I feel so hopeless and unworthy because so stupid thing. I did a stupid thing. You'll give me that proof? My lawyer will tell you. OK, excellent. Thank you. OK, Pastor, thank you. Thank you hey, guys. but by the way, is that the way that you operate a company? Pastor needs some money, two to three weeks, any chance? Is that the way you, Thanks. you run a company? Thanks. Thanks for the 5,000, Sibby. It will be great if you can transfer Gentle another 10,000. Thank you very much. My lawyer will come back. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Pastor. Pastor James denies all the allegations made by Sibby and late today told us there are no documents showing Sibby was a director or shareholder of the company.